Hi, I'm Tisha Copeland with Not Your Mama's Quilt Store, and I want to show you how to do a very easy quilt as you go tutorial. And this is where you're going to be able to quilt it, sash it, and bind it all in one step. Okay, this is the pattern that we're going to be working on. This is the zip strip pattern by the Fun and Done Pattern Company, and it's very easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do this all at once. As you can see, it has sashing in here already. This is to connect the blocks, and it has sashing this way also, and that's gonna to be to connect your rows. And then you have your binding in here, all ready to go. It has been quilted already, and it is a super fun, fast project. Let's get started. What I'm going to be showing is the zip strip from the Fun and Done Patterns. This is a pattern we carry in the store. First thing you're going to do is cut your background fabric. This is going to be your backing fabric as well as your sashing and your binding. You cut your background fabric to size and then you're going to cut your batting smaller. Your pattern will give you the exact dimensions of what you're going to be cutting. Second, you're going to go ahead and start laying out your pieces just as your pattern tells you. It says to lay them right sides together. These are my two uh, quilt pieces. Right sides together, pinning it to my batting. And when I start sewing, I'm going to start sewing a little bit in from the batting. I don't want to sew the batting into it, so I'm going to start in from the batting. I'm going to back tack, so I'm going to go forwards, backwards, sew a quarter inch seam all the way, forwards and backwards, stopping inside. So that when I have already put my pieces together, I am starting to build my quilt top, but is also starting to quilt on the back, as you can see where the lines, the stitch lines are showing. So as I continue to go, I continue to add my pieces just like my pattern tells you. You can see this one is next. I'm sewing through all the layers because this is quilting it at the same time. Starting just inside from the batting, back tack, quarter inch seam, stop before you get to the edge of the batting and back tack. So I've got these pieces. Then I've got all the pieces done right here. The next thing I need to do is trim this up so that I can start working on putting my blocks together and making the whole piece. So what you do next to trim this up, you turn it upside down just like this. You can see that I have lots of extra fabric hanging out from the side right here and right here. So what you're going to do is just get your ruler, lay it down even with your batting right here, and you are going to trim this extra fabric off so that you are trimming exactly to the batting. And you do the same thing right here. Lay your ruler, cut off this extra fabric. Once you've done that, it's going to look like this, where it's clean all the way around. So you're gonna do that on all four sides. That's going to have your block ready to go. The next thing you're going to do is start putting them together. So you're going to get one block and put it together with the other block right here. So you've got both blocks together. You wanna to match the tops, but then you also wanna feel the batting right here where your fingers are, because that's going to kind of be where you put your seam. You don't wanna catch your batting in there. And you're going to sew a seam right along the edge of the batting all the way across right here. And you're gonna to wanna to sew a good even seam, not like I sewed a seam, but that's another video. So you're gonna sew a very straight line right there, and then you're going to take it back to the ironing board. You're gonna iron your pieces open. Now you can see you have a very big seam allowance, but this is gonna be what makes your sashing. So the next thing you're going to do is just take this, fold it inwards. Did you see that? Fold it inwards fold it down. So take it again, I'm going to show you from right here, lift up that piece of, of uh, seam allowance, the fabric, fold it in, okay, fold it down. Once you've done that, you can go in and put your 
top stitch right along the edge of that seam of that fabric put it right there and that's going to be your top stitch that holds your sashing in place so now I've got my sashing built in with a little top stitch and it's going to hold it all in place after I've got a whole roll row not roll a whole row of blocks done it's time for me to go ahead and attach it to another row and I'm going to do the same thing where I pick up another row right here, back to back, sew a seam right along the edge of the batting, and when I've done that, I'm going to fold this up and fold it this way and the other side up, turn it in and fold it down, put a top stitch all the way across, and that's going to put all my rows together. Now, to do the binding, you do it the same way. You have the end, the edges of the fabric hanging loose right here. And so all you're going to do on the edges is fold it in and fold it over. And you're going to do a top stitch all along the edge right here. When you get to your ends, because you've done it on one side and then the other right here, when you get to your end pieces, you're going to do the same thing. Just fold it in and fold it over and top stitch. So this makes it very easy to do quilt as you go. It's quilted in the background right there. Quilt as you go and you've got the sashing in there. Very easy, don't have to mess with any um, bias strips or anything and your binding is ready to go. Again, this pattern is the zip strip pattern by Fun and Done and we do carry them at the store. And this is Tisha Copeland. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.